Hello and welcome to the third and final video for the Maryland Board of Pharmacy on how to renew your online, how to renew online rather your wholesale distributor license. This final video we'll be looking at how to upload documents to get to the login page you can go from the Maryland Board of Pharmacy website and click the link for online renewals or you can type this URL into your browser. We always recommend that you use Internet Explorer when using the online renewal system. Now just bear in mind that different pages in the renewal require different documents to be uploaded please read the instructions very carefully any renewals that are submitted without the correct documentation will be delayed in processing essentially there are four steps to uploading documents and it's the same on every page I will demonstrate that now on the web pages of the online system and we'll come back to these steps at the end. Here we have the permitting home page. This is a test case that I've been using for these instructional videos. When you click on the renew license link and then click on the continue link in the panel, it opens up your application. As I said before, these checklist items here in the menu correspond to the sections in the renewal form, the paper form. Not every page will have a document upload. As you'll see, if we could continue here, this first page does not require any documents to be uploaded. The next page does. Please read the information very carefully about the document types that can be uploaded. And on the page itself, each section will tell you if you need to upload a document here. It is advisable that you upload documents as you go along. Let's have a look at how we can do this. So let's say I'm putting in a resident agent. Right, I'm putting in this information here. Now I must upload upload a resident agent agreement. So I'm going to browse my computer or the network that I'm connected to. Browse will open up Windows Explorer for you. So you must have the document already scanned in to either your computer hard drive or to a network hard drive that you can access. Once you locate document let's say I'm going to use this PDF here you double click okay I'll do that one more time again when you hit browse locate the document on your hard drive or network and double click then click the upload document button I scroll down you'll see that the documents there and I need to select the document type from here so in this case it's Maryland resident agent information to save this click on the next step button as I mentioned before different pages have different uploads so if I click on browse here 
choose a document, double click, click upload. So now I've got different options than I had before. And the options depend on what page you're on and also what documents are already uploaded. For example, these two were, or well, some of these were already on, I think it was immediate supervisor, state criminal check. I'd already had that document uploaded from a previous session. And so it showed up in the drop down here, even though it's not one of the documents that's required to be uploaded on this particular page. So don't concern yourself about that. Just hopefully you will see the one, the type that you need to do over here and this drop down. I'm gonna just put this for now. And again, save using next step. Not every page has a document upload. So for example, the next page, I believe it is operating times. There's no document upload either. The application checklist, this page here, if you haven't uploaded all the documents or you think that you haven't, um, you've missed something out, you can basically do that from here. Click browse, double click the document, click upload. And here, the choices are basically all the things that you can possibly upload with this renewal online. Okay, so remember, if you forget at any point or think that you haven't uploaded something and you need to upload it, you can do that from the application checklist. It's called section 10. So as I mentioned before, there are four steps to uploading the document. In the uploading documents section, click the browse button, locate the document from your computer or network, double click on the document you want to upload, hit the upload button, and then select the document type from a drop down that appears. Thank you for watching these videos. If you have any further questions, please contact the Maryland Board of Pharmacy.